Okay, so listen, ignore the background. This is an old video from yesterday. Go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. I'm going to be kind of giving my thoughts about what Kurt said in his video. Go watch it, links in the description. Um, go ahead and watch it, man. I really do recommend it. It's 23 minutes. Watch all of it, man. It will make you excited for FIFA 20. I have played FIFA 20 as well. And as he said, this game has so much potential and for me at least it feels like i'm going to th this is my favorite fifa since fifa 15 and i feel like this is going to be the fifa i'm the best at just because um even though i did use uh, abuse game mechanics like first time shots uh, crosses whatever in fifa 19 it wasn't really my game style my style of play so now going back to like the passing uh, the manual defending all this stuff and actually getting rewarded for it i feel like this game could be the the, the, the gear for me where I actually make a push uh, to where I want to be foot champs wise and all that stuff man but regarding putting that to the side I want to touch on two main things that Kurt said first thing he said I think dribbling is a little OP we're gonna do three things um, dribbling is a little OP I kind of disagree with it but I agree with it at the same time I like how dribbling is right now especially with the left bumper the no touch dribbling whatever um, I feel like it's great it's very responsive it is a bit inconsistent sometimes, so that is very true. Um, they do have to fix the consistency of the dribbling, um, depending on what player you're using as well. And then another thing he said was, goalkeepers are way too overpowered. I completely agree. Um, I think they need to be tuned down just a little bit because right now they're saving way too many things, or at least a little more than they should be saving. And then the third thing, th thing he said before I go ahead and send you guys over to the video, Excuse me. Um, third thing he said was that um, set piece mechanics are just too complicated. They're, 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 I, I wanted to say he didn't say it, but I wanted to, I want to say they're stupid. I want to say they're dumb. They're just way too much has to go into it. Like you have to press B, you have to press up, and then when the ball's like in midair, midway to the goal, you have to press it like right to the left. Like there's just way too much stuff. Like let me just hold RB up on the left stick and then shoot it and then hold it. Not have to like, as the ball's flying in the air, have to move it. I literally just want to have to press a couple, bu press a couple buttons, press B and hold it there. I don't want to press B and then have to like, move my thumb the way i want the ball to go like no it's just no it's just way too much and then same thing with the penalties i i don't like the new penalty system i feel like it's way too complicated just put it back to where it was i know you're trying to be innovative ea i know you're trying to do these little things so people can say your game isn't just the replica of the year before but changing things to make them more complicated and trying to add a skill gap into these small things I don't think this is the right way to go and which is why for my gameplay feedback survey I <clears throat> every time I played a match I would go ahead and say that I do not like the new set piece mechanics at all um, I dislike them very very much do I think it's going to really change in the final game final version of the game be when it is released on September whatever I don't think so I think it's gonna be the exact same way um, just because I know they want, they're not going to completely scrap something they've worked so hard on, I guess. Um, no disrespect, just kind of wanted to throw that in there. Um, but I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Those are the three main points he kind of goes over in his video, so go ahead and check it out, man. I don't want to talk too much. I really, really, really recommend you guys go ahead and watch that video just because in my Why I Love FIFA 20 Ultimate Team video, from a couple days ago, I go on about 10 minutes why I love this game and why I think it has the potential that other games haven't. And how I said, I do love this game. This is my favorite FIFA ever since FIFA 15, how I said. Um, and I'm just super excited because there's so much potential in this game. They just have to fix the little minor things, but the core things, consistent finishing, manual defending is there. And I'm just so excited to play this game, man. I just wanted to come out already. We're about a month away and I'm just so excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you go watch Kurt's video. Shout out to him, man. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. And I'm out.